Anytime you're ready, Dad. Imagine you are in the wilderness, sitting in your hunting spot, and you see a deer. Your first instinct is to kill it. Bam! You kill it. After that, you see a wolf and think, maybe I should kill it too. Bam! No. Now you think, what was the harm in killing a wolf? Although most of you probably don't go hunting, some of you do. And as you all know, we are in a state where hunting is a major aspect of the community. Hunting occurs every year within the states of the Great Lakes area. Many of you didn't know that the wolf hunts actually occur all around the world. I have been interested in wolves since ninth grade and have been trying to understand how people could kill wolves when we have their descendants in our home. After becoming interested in wolves, I did many projects on wolves and have been very interested in the recent recurrence of the wolf hunts. The problem is that wolves have just come off the endangered species list and they're already being hunted. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel stated that 85 wolves were killed within the first six days of the 2013 wolf hunt. This is compared to the 2012 wolf hunt where 42 wolves were killed in the first 16 days. Um, the number of wolves killed each year is between 1,000 and 9,999. Um, according to ToledoBlade.com, 12,000 wolf tags were given to hunters in Michigan alone. With wolf populations down, other animal counts will go up, affecting the balance of nature. According to the politicalenvironment.com, each year Wisconsin DNR estimates each wolf kills 20 deer, although this doesn't significantly affect their population. Uh, with deer populations increasing due to the wolves being killed off, uh, they will continue to increase at an exponential rate. Overpopulation of deer would cause drastic, drastic effects on the environment and on us as, as a civilization. Imagine, t uh, see. Yeah, that's Imagine 20 deer cause more plants to be eaten. And that uh, no, too far. <laughs> oh well. Uh, to be eaten. More car accidents and deaths. That was the last slide. <laughs> more intrusions into cities. Living in areas where wolves are prevalent means that we are directly affected by the wolf population. We hunt wolves, and it affects our livelihoods every day. Even though we are hunting wolves, causing all sorts of problems, don't fret, there is a solution that, can, that we can use to end this. Wolf hunts cause damage to the environment and people, and we should petition to stop the wolf hunt. If people come together and sign petitions or contact the DNR or the governor or Governor Walker about the issues, we will be able to solve this problem. According to www.change.org slash petitions, uh, they have a petition on there that says that, uh, I can't remember the number, but it was like 12,000 people signed it and it, is there to stop hunting wolves, and instead of hunting them, they want to relocate the wolves to different areas to resupply those areas. Um, another site, the, the same one I used earlier, the petition site.com, uh, is a petition to stop the wolf hunts in Wisconsin. And then you can, there's also a Facebook page that you can join uh, called Community or stop Wisconsin wolf hunting, and then the biggest one that I found out there that was really helpful when it came to trying to stop the wolf hunts was a website called Wisconsin Federation FederatedHS.org, and it's a website where you can go sign a petition or you can get in touch with your legislators to ask them to change legislation related to the wolf hunt. And by going to our le legislators, signing petitions, or contacting the DNR or Governor Walker, we will be able to stop the wolf hunts. Signing petitions will change the government's mind so that the wolf hunts and their effects on us will change. Uh, and contacting the DNR or Governor Walker or our legislature will show that the people want this legislation to change. 
according to the Humane Society of the U United States and other animal welfare groups, they filed a lawsuit to restore federal protections for the gray wolf in the Western Great Lakes region just last year for uh, legislation that was lifted last year. Uh, by creating the lawsuit and legal pressure on the government, the Humane Society has, is trying to influence the legislatures to change the policy. And they're also paving the road for regular citizens like us to petition the government to also change the, the laws when it comes to hunting wolves. Um, some people say that wolves kill our animals and our livestock. This, however, is not entirely true. According to, the, again, the petition site.com, wolves only kill less than 1% of our livestock, while disease, injury, and neglect kills 75% of our livestock. Uh, according to some, wolves are more dangerous to humans as their numbers in grow. Uh, wolves are similar to dogs and they know when they're getting too close to like civilization because they tend to stay away from civilization and most uh, wolf attacks occur because people antagonize the wolf or they enter the wolf's territory and it's a territorial dispute kind of thing um, so imagine a world where there are no wolves deer population goes out of control other animals populations also go up. The plant number goes down due to overeating from the herbivores that would have get, been killed by the wolves. Uh, with the plants getting killed, CO2 would rise in the atmosphere, causing drastic events in our, uh, with our weather patterns and stuff like that. Um, and people may also start to die due to overexposure to certain stuff caused by the rise in CO2 in the atmosphere. Um, now imagine a world where there are wolves. Po deer population and other animals populations are under control. More plants are alive, there's less CO2 in the air, and more people are survive due to the, not as much exposure to the environment. Wolf hunts need to be stopped, and we can stop them by going to our government and petitioning them to stop the wolf hunts. We can contact the DNR and try to get them and the government to stop the wolf hunts. Uh, you should come, you should care about the wolf hunts because we live in a state where they occur yearly, and whether you want to believe it, wolves impact everyone's lives by impacting the nature's balance. I have emailed you all links to websites that you can sign petitions, uh, some websites that you can contact state officials, and a link to the Facebook page dedicated to helping the wolf hunt stop. So remember this, wolves play a key role in nature and continuing the wolf hunts will affect us one way or another. Thank you. 827. Sorry. 827? Mm-hmm. kind of tough seconds off. Last time I did it, I was at 8.32. Oh, yeah. You can uh, get out of my oh. power phone. I know, it's so dry, unfortunately. No, I mean like even when it's not dry, like I always get checked. Like when I shoes. When I go to the like Woodman's or something like that, every single time I'm in there I get shot. Yeah. Oh, I know grocery stores are notorious. I don't know what it is with grocery stores, but yeah. Reach for the toilet paper. <laughs> it is miserable. I'm sorry, say what, Brittany? I'm confused. <laughs> Why is it not showing up? Is it because I'm in the order? Um, let's see. Yeah, 
Gecko's receipt. 